Shit, none of it's on. true. None of it's true. None of it's true. It's BS. They made it up. They lie. They don't want to give me credit for anything. Hey, Couture Bays, it's your girl, Brooke going live with the Bree Talk and Bay Squad. We have to talk about Cardi B and Tasha K finally settling and Cardi B's new image. But before we get started, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Everything we say here is allegedly and for entertainment purposes solely. So sit back, relax, sip you some apple juice or my fave, the vegan water, and let's get into the mess, shall we? So tell me why I saw an article on Instagram complex where they were referencing all the hiphop.com about how tasha k is willing to do a payment arrangement quarterly with bel kanana that's not the kicker here's the kicker it's two hundred thousand dollars plus oh my god tasha see i knew you had some money girl i knew it now i'm playing at the end of the day i think this is the best way to go about it because tasha k said i ain't got it hashtag i ain't got it hashtag i ain't gonna pay so bell kanana you can either get this quarterly stipend or get nothing at all i mean it is what it is hopefully she accepts it even though i don't agree with it I feel like Tasha K is still winning. She's getting the interviews. The girls can't wait to spill the tea. So it's a win-win for Tasha. And quite frankly, even though you get the one point something million, three million, four million, it's a lose for you because it stifled your career. Hence how we get to Vogue Mexico. So as I was listening to the things she was talking about, I actually read with her first what to seem to me her frustrations with not only the fashion industry the music industry because nobody takes her serious she still feels like the underdog but i really want bel kanana to understand this when you don't keep your shoes on your feet amongst the elite especially at a harper's bazaar type event girl you're going to be looked at as the trash who's going to want to put their name on your body with the type of mouth you have and the antics you pull. It's like every other month you're lashing out on Beyonce's internet about how you just want to be left alone. People are speaking on you, how you're suing bloggers. Then you turn around, you're doxing the girls. Like, who wants their name associated with that? See, when you asked to be in the music industry, you forgot you were a brand. You represent things. So who wants their logo, their name, their moniker on someone who's considered mm, trashy, not classy? And in the words of Sex in the City, shout out to the Vogue editors, the Vogue photographers. You looked really good. You look refreshed. I mean, I, I didn't have any critiques for real for real it's given you're trying to cross over into the latin community like we've been telling you to do i mean you do speak spanish mira mira mommy at the end of the day i get it you're trying to clean it up but girl it's going to take work you need to get you a social media team but on that note what are your thoughts on these topics space squad how do you feel about tasha k having to pay how do you feel about bell khalees trying to cross over into the latin community Ka-chow. isn't that funny i thought she was afro latin Tina, I guess they're not feeling it. Go read the comments. But it is what it is. And on that note, comment down below. I gotta go. Bye, hoes.